to my $1,100 LA studio. I pay $1,100, which yes, is pretty cringy as it is. This place is a steal in Los Angeles. Can we just talk about how much better it is than your New York City apartment? So as you can see, we had to do lofted beds. Again, not much happening here. Okay, okay, okay. The reason why Damon lives in like the Taj Mahal, okay? <laughs> we found these apartments very like serendipitously. I swear to you, the kitchen cabinets were in the living room. Nothing was even done. You know what Damon said? Move, Joe! This is my apartment. <laughs> Mine is nice, but it's like, like a dungeon dragon. <laughs> so Damon's is, is nice and very well lit. Okay, And it's perfect for him. I came in here. First thing I saw, hardwood floors, baby. I'm like, we gotta, these are beautiful. Okay, they're a little dusty right now. Sorry, I didn't use my Swiffer. I put this thing here because if you have a studio, you need to divide the room. In my last apartment in Harlem, I had bunk beds. Ow! Who bought this thing? You need to divide the rooms if you're in a studio. So that's what I did with this. We have a closet, come on. This is actually a massive closet. This is a bedroom. like, And I swear, if you like the design of this apartment, I'm gonna teach you a few things. Number one, the hangers are one of those things that you're like, I'm not gonna buy. Okay, yeah, sorry, I went to the club last night. Hangers. Hangers change the style. These hangers I think I bought from like a Big Lots or something. It was six for like 10. Don't just think that because they look nice that they're too expensive. That's what we thought when we saw this building. These beautiful windows are nice because the airflow comes in and I always have the fan on, but then it's always so dusty in here. Wait till you see my kitchen table. I don't know if it's because it's from Walmart or if that's just black tables. I've seen the boy clean this and 10 minutes later that's what we're working with. We're coming into what Joe and I call the boudoir. Again, you can put a mattress in here. I live in a one, two, three, four, I live in a five bedroom apartment. Look, and there's even a built-in mirror. Let me see what's in here actually. You're in body. Anybody want to know my body fat? Okay. <gasps> that's where that was. See, I could be buying a lot more stuff at TJ Maxx. $20. <laughs> Welcome to the bathroom. Uh, it's a bathroom, but the reason that I love this bathroom is because it has a window. Those three palm trees. Another interior design tip from me and my HGTV watching and Sims playing. Plants everywhere. Like, this is a plant that I try to shower with daily, but now it's just dead. And now it looks like this. You can look outside, but do you ever wonder if people are looking in at you? Mm-hmm. This is like booby level. When you get back, hold on, excuse me. When you get back like this, and you know sometimes you're like a little naked at home. When you get back here, like now you're schlong, now you're schlong schlong level. And now for the main event, this is the entire apartment here. Again, it looks really, really, really big, but that's because we have a wide angle lens on. But also, in comparison to your New York City studio, again, can we talk about, like, upgrade? You know, and also compared to yours. No. <laughs> you might be looking at this wall and you're thinking two things. One, what the hell is going on with all these frames that have nothing in them? Or two, damn, that looks pretty cool. What about that? That, I like that on the floor. <laughs> the secret, you gotta have different shapes. If you had just squares on the wall, it wouldn't look as cool. Maybe. Maybe. But I wanted to start out with this. This bad boy was $60. I wanted a big gold mirror, and I originally wanted a huge one. And also, every time I come over, I take the best selfies in here. Excuse me. Damon literally walked up six flights of stairs <laughs> with this couch in a box it's, alone. You know what? That's really true. I put this together. I put that together. This, I swear, will fall off the wall one day, which is why typically I keep it down here. This is his vehicle. This is how he gets around in LA. This and the 720 public bus. When we moved to LA, we're like, the number one thing, we don't want a car. I don't want to have to deal with parking, gas, tickets. Tick you know I'm going to get a ticket. And then the next scene is like us getting a car. Ow! Ow! Uh, sure, I'm gonna get, get a bike. Out. I need a car. <laughs> so this is actually where I sleep every night. This is a Walmart couch for three hundred dollars. <laughs> this is also a reason I put the bike down because who's trying to sleep like this? You want to up the style game of your apartment. You need a big rug, and this rug I think was eighty dollars on Amazon. I was gonna pair it with the runner, the long one, but I didn't have enough money in my account. And if you get really close, one, you can see that I need to vacuum. Two, you see that it's not vintage or rustic at all. It's just dirty. You know, from afar, it looks good. When you get up close, it looks a little cheap. Just kind of like you from Walmart. This was from World Market. It's a linen curtain that I think cost $10. Also, all of my bedding is linen. This skin will only touch linen. White linen sheets are the secret because you feel like you're in the hotel. This pillow I bought off Amazon. It was kind of expensive, $50 for this therapeutic pillow. And you know, you spend $50 on so many other things in your life all the time. But we sleep every day. I keep these windows open every day at all hours of the day. Airflow is key. The main thing I liked about this apartment was all the light in here. You walk in and there's tons of light. Three big windows north facing. That's a key Four. detail. 
Well, three big ones, four. Because there's small ones. North facing windows, because if the sun rises, hold on, let me think about this. Sun rises from the east and sets in the west, so if you have an east or west facing window, you're, you're gonna, gonna be burning. Rolling. Look at this. <sighs> like a medium <immediate> sire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, right now, there's a lot of smog in LA. Mmm, such a great place to live. On a good day, you can see all the way to the Hollywood Hills. And on a bad day, you can't see anything. Everything in Damon's apartment was carefully chosen. He is not an impulse buyer. He made sure to plan. Like, you saw this little silly table thing. You wanted it and you bought it. You know, when I walked in this apartment with Joe and pushed her out of the way, I knew exactly what I wanted. I loved the hardwood floors. The walls were cream yellow, which we painted over slash Joe painted over because just I can bring the design. I can't bring the freaking the the like the hard work. No, I can't <laughs> that shit. I can do hard work. The hard labor. I can do hard labor. The you're not a handyman. Handiwork. Get a lot of plants. These ones are the cheapest and they're the easiest to take care of. Pothos. They're called pothos. P o t h o s. They're not looking too hot because we left for a month, so don't judge. Make sure to get some water globes because water globes are the way to keep them still alive. So maybe you're like, damn, like that apartment looks nice. It is nice until I have a faulty fire alarm that doesn't ever work. I purposely have this red stool here so I can get up here. Just like, please don't fall. I, Joe, at this point, I've done this a thousand times. Right. He's been having problems with this for a year. Like that episode of Friends where Phoebe, you know, has a faulty one, she hits it with a hammer. We went to the trading post, the Melrose trading post, where it's like a flea market. They said this was from the Pacific Palisades, and I'm like, taking it! It's mine. <laughs> Furnishing an apartment costs money, but once you furnish it nicely, then you feel good in it, and then you can make more money. You know how when you walk into Muji and it smells really, really good? It's because they have probably 50 of these going at the same time. I bought this one off Amazon for $50. You get some little lavender oil, sprinkle it in, and it's good if you don't like candles. Some people don't like candles because it's too fake. I had a face like that, but now I'm back on my fall harvest. Style tips. Stick to certain colors in your apartment. My colors, black and whites, emerald greens, and gold. They coming for you, style police. That's why it's really $1,000 here. <laughs> Lives in the worst neighborhood. I feel like kitchens are the places that acquire the most appliances, but the only appliance that we need to talk about right now is the magic bowl. I don't like smoothies. Oh, it's Damon so good. loves smoothies. You throw some kale, banana, vanilla, soy milk. This is the reason why we don't live together anymore, people. I would wake up every day, 8 a.m. I came home from the club last night. It's 2 30 and I'm eating a smoothie. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. It's a beautiful home. I'm this proud of you. Home. This was my apartment, everybody. Um, leave a comment below if you like the style, what I've done at this apartment. I pay $1,100 a month, $1,125 per month, which I still cringe every time I write that number down. But I do know that you're not going to find anything like this in Los Angeles or New York or Paris. Also, so all utilities price. included, and it's rent stabilized. And also get super hot because we can't have air conditioning. I, I almost got evicted. You gotta click on my video to see what's up with my apartment and to hear how we actually found this building. Oh, and last thing, here's a key to your apartment, so go home. Now it's time for my apartment, so we're bye. Bye bye, thank you. Subscribe. Hello and welcome to my 10,000. Th 10, <laughs> The wine's already kicking in my $1,000 studio. Come on in.